Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Japan stationery haul for you and I don't know if it's as big as the previous one I did like a couple years back but I think it's pretty big. Like I'm looking at my back now I'm like, I bought that much stuff? Okay. But yeah, this isn't everything that I got. I have another video where I filmed a 100 yen shop haul and I think that one's going up first so that should be live by now. I have no idea. I'm filming them all today and then I'm gonna like figure out when is the best time to put them up. And the other thing that will not be featured here that I did buy is another planner. Well, it's not a planner. I guess it kind of is an organizer because it's not really focused much on dates. But it's a whole kit that I discovered. I think I was in Tokyo Hands or Loft. I can't remember which one. And it looked like something that I'd really want to try out. So I figured I would do that in a separate video because I want to put it together on camera and everything like that. So that should be coming shortly, but yeah. And I'll explain why I thought that one was really stand out in comparison to all the planners that I'm currently using. Anyways, so all these items come from basically lots of different shops from different areas, from Sapporo and Tokyo. Um, some of them are from some Sanrio shops because I love Sanrio, favorite series ever. I went to Loft, I went to Tokyo Hands, Daimodu, um, Yodobashi, Big Camera, oh, there was just so many and you just kind of pick up bits and pieces as you go along and yeah, let's get on to the haul. I'm not going to have any particular order because I don't remember which order I bought them from and I don't remember which stores specific items come from so I'll just pull them out and show you guys. So, first item is very exciting, it's a folder um, from the campus, I think it's Kokyo series? Yeah, Kokyo is the brand for this and basically these is just ring bound but it's like these small rings that are um that you can open and yeah it's a it's just it's nothing special about this it's basically just a divider it's just that i do have a lot of campus um refills and i've been using them in notebooks so what i really like about this particular organization notebook series is that you can have these bigger folders where you can put lots of notes or you can have like smaller notebooks which you can carry around like a traditional notebook but these sheets can be transferred between a notebook or a folder and I think they have bigger folders as well but I basically have been using them obsessively for things like learning Japanese like my Japanese classes I've been doing some Chinese and Korean as well this is a different brand where it's basically a similar concept with the big ring um, but this one is from Lee Hit La Lab well, I can't pronounce Lee Hit Lab. It's another brand. It's just different sizing. You can see it's just a little bit smaller. And I also have notes for this as well. So I thought I would get these to store some of my notes in. And then this is a small little planner, which I actually don't know which brand it is. I'm like, even when I look at it now, I'm like, I don't really know the brand. Ray, Ray May? I have no idea. I've not heard of this before. But what I really liked about it is that it's so small. It's like the size. It's kind of the size of a personal planner. It's so small. I love that the rings are really dainty. And um, yeah, I just thought this was something I could easily carry with me. I feel like a lot of um, similar ring bound planners from say Kiki K are really chunky. And I'm not a fan of those chunky planners. They take up so much space. I don't find myself using them because I find them ergonomically difficult to use whereas this one feels so much easier to use i found this at yodabashi i don't really know much about the brand but i'm gonna start using it and seeing how i go but yeah, i love the size and the feel it just feels so much more usable so this one i got i can't remember i think it's from that big stationery shop in tokyo you know what? i'm gonna look it up because it's gonna bug me Itoya, that's right, Itoya. I mean, they have one in, we stayed in Ginza this trip, and so they had two really large Itoyas there, but I know that um, Shinjuku have one as well. Anyways, Itoya is basically stationary heaven, but it's very expensive. I feel like everything's been marked up just because they have the huge variety of like, just not stationary, but watercolors and papers, and it's it's insane how much they have. They have pretty much anything you could ever want in stationery is right there at like a 10 to 20 percent markup of if you were to search at cheaper shops. So I bought this, I just wanted to get something from there. I didn't want to, I didn't really want to buy anything from there just because it was so expensive. Um, like I literally got like all the pens that I wanted were like 10 to 20 yen cheaper if I just went to say a Tokyo hands instead um but I got this it's basically like washi tape but individual stickers so individual sakura petals as you can see and I thought this was so cute I've never seen anything like this before and I'm, I mean I'm scared to use it now because it's precious but I love this it's so cute 
And then these are some of the items I got from a Sanrio shop. I didn't buy too many from Sanrio shop to be honest because I felt like it was pretty overpriced and the, the range wasn't as big as I thought it would be. But this is, I don't know if you guys remember this, but these are the sort of refills I used to get when I was a teenager for the little planners, like ring bound planners. It's a, they're smaller than this one as you can see. They're six rings but they're tiny. Um, and these are just refills for, I think, 2000, I think I don't think they're dated. Oh, no, it says 2019. I, in the past, I would get ones that aren't dated, so you can use them any year. But, yeah, I'm not going to open this yet because I still have to figure out which planner I want to put it in. I have a few small planners, like I have some Louis Vuitton ones and um, I can't remember the other brands that I have. But I was thinking of getting something a bit different and more modernish for it. So I'm just going to leave it for now. But these are the Twin Star refills. So I think you get, like, oh, you can kind of see here what you, comes in the pack. Yearly view, like schedule view, monthly views, weekly views, and then some note paper. And then they have like a little ziplock and rulers and stuff like that. So, I mean, this just is so nostalgic. It takes me right back to my high school years when I would buy these obsessively from the... I think we used to have a shop called Morning Glory. I don't know if it's still there. But I used to go to places like the city or Box Hill to get these inserts for my planners. And then these are some pencils. <laughs> um, they're actually from... I think... There's about 12 pencils in here. They're 2B. They're just normal pencils. There's like nothing special about them, but I just figured that these are the sort of pencils I could definitely use. I have a lot of pencils, but they don't look very cute and pretty. They're very boring. So I figured I could get a pack of these. I could give some away to like my nieces or cousins and stuff like that. And with 12, I don't think I'm ever going to run out. Then I picked up some stickers. Oh, I've got duplicates here. I think I've got some because I wanted to give them away. So let's just take the duplicates out because I think that's a gift for someone else. Um, but I've got Cinnamon Roll and My Melody stickers. Ooh, hopefully it was in focus. Okay, so I have Cinnamon Roll and My Melody stickers here. They're just clear stickers. They're really more for like, you kind of would use them for something like this where they're just talking about activities you need to do, like go to school, do your homework, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I thought that was cute. Okay, so this is definitely not from Sanrio. I don't actually remember where. It's basically really tiny post-it notes. Um, I have, I bought these ones similar size from Muji. We have them in Australia. And I use them in my Erin Condren planner in the monthly view to plan ahead for the 12 months. So I'll write notes on this and then kind of schedule in when I'm going on holiday, when videos are going out, when I have certain events, just so that I can see it all in a view. But because they're post-it notes, I can move them around. So I use that a lot, but the problem is that the Muji ones have very limited color range. It's like yellow, orange, and white. That's pretty much it. So I wanted something with a little bit more range. I've got pink, green, and blue, and I think, or well, yellow, but it might be a different shade of yellow. So I figured this would be really useful to have some more variety in my planning. So I really got a second one, so I got two of them, lots of planning. Um, I just have a bag of stuff here. I'm just trying to figure out what to show next. You know what? I'll go through the washi tape I bought. Um, the first time I did a haul, I think the first Japanese haul I did here, I had like a ton of washi tape and I don't have as much here, which I'm actually pretty happy about because I, I have a lot of washi tape guys. Um, oh, okay. And these are the Sailor Moon washi tapes. I went to the Sailor Moon store in Harajuku. I'm going to, um, open these. I'm just looking at them now because I just got a Sailor Moon washi tape in a Zampop box that I unboxed recently and I was really worried that it was one that I had already bought but not. it's not. These are all different so I'm really happy about that. And then these are some Pokemon washi tape which I got at the Pokemon store in I think it was the Pokemon Center in Sapporo. I got these ones. All right let me just open these so I can give you a better look. Okay here's a close-up of the Sailor Moon um, washi tape. Sailor Moon being like one of my original favorite anime ever. So this one is just a lot of like little sagi lying around Sailor Moon. And then this is kind of all the accessories and shoes of the, I think it's all the Sailor Senshi, this harp. Oh, I can't remember. I thought it was Neptune, but it might, it might just be the inner Senshi. And then this one is just the bows. It's very themed Sailor Moon. So these are so nice. I love how pastel these are. They're gonna look so amazing. And then the other one I got was these ones here. So this is from the Pokemon shop. It just came in a set like this. So I don't know why these two, I know they're not the same because they have different Pokemon on them, but it's very similar. I would have rather one that was very different. I like this one. It's all like um, pixelated versions of different Pokemon. So I thought that was really cute. So yeah. I think that's all the washi tape I got. I'm just looking over everything and I think 
that is it. That's all the washi tape I got, which is like in stark comparison to what I had last time. But yeah, whilst we're on the subject of Pokemon, let's go through... I'll show you guys other things I got from the Pokemon shop, because I actually did get a few bits of stationery. So I got this pen from Sada Sa. I already used the Sada Sa range, so I already know that I like the ink and the flow and everything. The only downside, this is 0.5. I don't know, for some reason I thought this would still be really useful, maybe at work. It's a multi-ink pen, you've got black, red, green, and blue. So they're just very traditional sort of pens. Oh, and you got pencil, mechanical pencil, so it's like five point. So yeah, I'm not gonna test this out because I feel like, oh, well, why is it not coming up? Ah, okay, you gotta push it right down. But I feel like the Sarasa range isn't any, isn't very new to anybody, so I got that. And then I got this one. I'm not sure why they wrapped it up in special packaging. Let me open it up. I will say that pretty much everything in Japan comes in its own packaging. It's like everything's individually wrapped with excessive packaging. And I get, like, it's really nice. It's very convenient. But then I just think about the wastage, like how much trash there would be. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Things that I think about. Um, so this is another Sarasa pen. It's 0.5. Again, it's not really my thing, like, because I'm a more of a 0.3 sort of person. But the reason I got it is because I love the Pokemon on it, Lapris. Lapras, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Because um, this particular Pokemon in Pokemon Go was the first, like, non-normal character that I'd captured. I think this was the first one I got from an egg. That's why it was so unique to me. I remember when it hatched and she or he came out and I was so excited because I'd never seen it anywhere and I've never seen it anywhere since. So um, yeah, it was my first Pokemon Go egg hatch. I know it's weird. I know. I have weird associations. And it's blue, which is my favorite color. So yeah, I feel like I still would use this pen, but I feel like this is more like a decorative pen for me. And I don't know, there's like weird emotional reasons to get it. So whilst I was at the Pokemon shop, I also got these. Um, I was so curious to know whether I would get these. These aren't mild liner, zebra mild liner pens. I already have them, but these come Pokemon branded, which is just so cool. So this one says like Pikachu on it and this is Pokemon. So they're slightly different. This is more like drawn uh, Pikachus and um, no, it's actually mostly just Pikachu related stuff. And then this one is like more general Pokemon. Um, I think these were like special edition ones that you could only get um, at Pokemon centers. I'm not sure. A lot of the stuff that I'm showing you from the Pokemon centers say on it that it's only for sale in Japan. So I don't know whether you can order these or not. But yeah, I picked these up and I'm so excited. I saw these on Facebook in one of the Facebook groups I was in. And I was like, I wonder if I'll be lucky enough to find them. And I saw them at the Pokemon center and just grabbed them. So yeah, I'm so excited. I love these. I also managed to pick up the new colors from the Zebra Mild Liner range. I think these are the new colors. I was looking online and they were saying 2018 uh, Zebra released um, five new colors. I could be wrong. I don't keep up with the news, like stationary release news very well. So I'm always kind of just being drip fed what I see on either Facebook or Instagram. But I think these are new. I don't have these personally. So um, I thought I'd pick them up and give them a shot. I'm not going to try any of the pens in this video because I think I'd be here forever because I actually still have quite a few more things to show you guys. But if there is anything you'd like me to try or um, experiment with, let me know. And then I also picked up some Tombow pens. Um, I'm not sure if these are a repeat of each other, but I picked this up first when I was in Sapporo. And then I saw these in Tokyo and I was like, like these actually come up to like 48 or 36 or something. But I figured 12 pack would be enough for me to play around with. And I think these ones were like lighter colors if I can remember. Like they kind of look different. Some, like these two pinks look the same. But other than that, there's not a lot of crossover. So I'm hoping they're different colors. I'm going to play around with them, see if I like them. Here we have some refills. Oh, yeah, okay. So these are like campus refills. I have a lot of camp plain campus refills, like just lined or dot grid and stuff like that. But these ones are like really unique, which I hadn't seen before. And this is actually kind of a scheduler. So it kind of gives you an example of how you'd use it. It's like the weekly view. It's a little bit like an Erin Condren view where you'd have like your weekly to-do list and then topics and subjects you're looking at. And then these are the time sections. So this is really more for like studying or school. But I thought I'd pick these up because I kind of like how it lays out and I wondered whether it could be applicable for me as well. I'm always a big fan of trying different organizations 
filtration methods just to see if I can improve my own or change it or confirm that this just isn't going to work for me. And then here's another one that's kind of similar, but it's kind of like a one day page view instead of a weekly view. So that's more the weekly view. This one, you can have a date for the full day and then just write everything down. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how these plan out for me. Sorry, I missed out on this one. It's just a little um, book of, how do you say, post-its? Yeah, like different colored post-it notes. And then these are the ones that you would use like index index clips on the side or index pages to help you bookmark the pages that you want to get to really quite quick. But I thought this was cute. Very French-like, like Pikachu with croissants. It feels French to me. So I visited two Sanrio shops. I think, I can't remember which one was which store, but they give me these like little freebies that they kind of stick to the front. They say, oh, you can pick which chair you want. I picked blue, obviously, but... I don't know what to do with it now. I think it's just an ornament that you just like hang from your bag or something. I have no idea. These aren't all actually from Sanrio. I think I just repurposed the bag and put other stuff in because I'm looking at these and I'm like, these are not all Sanrio. So this is a bunch of little stickers. I'll show you up close. These are what the stickers look like. All little seal stickers and they're all from the cinnamon roll series. And you get them in this like a beautiful little plastic envelope sleeve. It's adorable. I love it. And then I bought a bunch of stickers. So this one is kind of like, where is it? For these refills that I bought, these are like to match the refills. They're just stickers that you can put in to mark dates. So just like kind of make the planning a little bit more quirky and you get like two sets at the back. So I bought two just because I feel like I'm going to go through them pretty fast. So got those. And then this is kind of like the My Melody range of My Melody range of characters. And then this is not a specific character range that I know of, but I still have the price. So you can see where I bought it from, Yodobashi. Um, and I don't know, it's like a little cat. I mean, anything. I think it's cat or I thought it was bear. I wasn't really sure what sort of animal it was, but it was cute nonetheless. Then we have cats with a bunch of sakura. This is like washi tape paper. I don't really, I don't really know which character. I'm not sure what character this is. They just reminded me of like the marshmallow men. <laughs> Weird. And then, oh, the focus keeps changing every time. And then we have penguins. And then we have more cats and bears. I'm pretty sure it's bears. But yeah, you can just see it's like a range of different quirky stickers just to kind of like decorate your planner. I also picked up these post-it notes. They are Animal Crossing inspired. So Animal Crossing is one of the games that I play on my mobile phone. And in fact, Animal Crossing Nintendo DS, I actually purchased that as well. But I mean, it's not stationary, so I can't really show it. But that's something I got because I love the Animal Crossing series. So I felt like I wanted everything I had to be themed that way. But these ones sell. Like in Yorubashi, they have like a little discount section where... I don't know, maybe they're trying to get rid of stuff or it's broken. I'm not really sure. But this was like discounted from 648 yen to 200 yen. And I figured I love Animal Crossing, so I will pick these up and I can use them for planning purposes. Then I also picked this up, which is basically like deco tape. Um, you can kind of see this is what the tape looks like. It's essentially kind of like if you put down whiteout tape, but instead of whiteout, it's clear and there's decoration. I have a few of these ones, but they're not branded. The types that I have are just like floral or grass. It's just very generic. So I wanted something that was a little bit more like on a particular brand, like Pom Pom Purin. I thought that would be really cute. So these are like washi tape dispensers, if that makes sense. For this one, like this one I thought would be really good for Maybe my desk or travel or pencil case where I could, where you have like, you can store four types of washi tape in here. You do have to kind of unravel it from the original washi tape, which I was kind of unsure about. Like I didn't know if that was something I actually wanted to do because I find that when I do that, it loses its sense of stickiness. Like it's not as sticky anymore, but I thought I would get this. I'd try it out, see what I thought. If this is another thing that I thought would be a lot easier. So sometimes I have washi tape that I use. Like I have sets of washi tape I go through really quickly because I use them for the shop. And um, I usually just tear them because washi tape is very easy to tear. But I thought maybe if I have this, you clip it onto the washi tape and it just helps you kind of cut it a lot easier and hopefully cleaner too. So mine doesn't have all those rip marks on it. So I thought I'd get one. Um, you can only use it on one washi tape at a time, but that's okay because I usually only have a few out that I use consistently. So I thought that'd be interesting. Then this was like a weird eraser. Um, I'm gonna open this up so I can show it to you a bit easier. It's an eraser full of corners. So if you watched my other like um, 100 yen shop 
a hole, then you know that I constantly need a razor corners, like all the time. I'm just trying to figure out how to open this uh, here. Yeah. And so because I'm always like trying to erase really fine details. So I thought this would be really cool. It's basically an eraser full of corners. <laughs> how weird is that? It's just lots of corners. So I don't know, that might be useful. Thought I'd get it, give it a shot. It's very cute, it's very Japanese and unique. So yeah, I've got that. And then the last one I have is a Sumiko Gurashi pen. I don't think there's anything unique about this pen at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure there isn't. It's just like standard. Yep, okay. It's actually like a Sharpie. It smells like a Sharpie. Just a normal marker pen on one side. And then you've got like the actual fine tip pen here. This um, this one, this side is just like a normal pen. This one it smells like a Sharpie. So it's more permanent marker, I reckon. But yeah, I mean, I mostly got it because it's from Zebra and it's Sumiko Gurashi. So I just love in Japan that I can get the brands of pens that I normally get but enhanced with like cuteness to it as well. I know it's weird. That's everything in this video. Um, I felt like it was a lot, honestly, it was a lot. <laughs> I had so much fun in Japan. I feel like for me, Japan is the home of all the stationery brands that I love. It's home of all the skincare I love. It's home of all the food I love. So a lot of people will ask, why do you go to Japan so often? Because I love it. Let me know if there's anything in here you want to see closer up or me test out because I can do that in future videos. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to your internet. Mm -hmm.